A guardsman is not only built for heliborne operations, he is also highly trained in seaborne assault, such as coastal hook operations. Today, these trainees will be tested on their swimming strength. The objective is to swim two kilometres out to the open sea and back. Sounds simple enough. Having to swim a coastal swim together the rest with my cosmates are really a challenging factor whereby uh, some of them really can't swim with the live vest, with the current. Maybe if the current will be against us or with us. I'm not looking forward to my coastal swim. I kind of hate swimming, uh, but although I can swim, I just hate swimming. Remember this bit? Things that due to the current and the wave and the tide also uh, it serve as one one of the challenges that make us drift uh, drift away from the from the point that we need to go to. Then we notice that we've been swimming for 50 minutes and we are at the same spot. We only know that the ball is there, we cannot follow that, but the ball. But now we know that, we realise that we are drifted away to the right. So, and it's very, very far right. So we have to keep on swimming, swimming, swimming to the left so that we can get to the ball and then proceed to the next, another ball, you see. After more than three hours in the unforgiving heat and the strong sea currents, the last team makes it back to shore. It's been a long and tiring day. Just when they thought they could rest and recover after the swim, they're summoned for a mission. And this time, it'll be their biggest test yet. The next three days will be the beginning of a long week for these soldiers. It will test the limits of their physical and mental endurance. Whatever is the mission they must achieve, and uh, in order to achieve that, they must think out of the box under the most stressful environment, how to actually to achieve that. It will try to break them. And only the toughest will make the cut. Yeah, it's the final finale, yeah, so just look forward to it. <laughs> Well, the trainees are now here in Tekong for their rites of passage. Our intention as instructor is to give them a lot of challenging uh, situation for them. For them to discover what is their limits, okay, to make them understand that actually limits is set by themselves and they can push themselves further. Okay, very simple. Lah. We're going to start with our mission right now. Okay, so four steps before we start the mission. What's the first thing we do? Water. Understand? Lah. Okay, go and sort out your platoon sergeant, go and organize your platoon, go and top out your water. Okay, all the platoon commanders stay here for the briefing. Come back here for the briefing. Now I need all the water to be top up. Understand? Not? We try to give the most stressful environment for them to see how they can adapt uh, to the stressful environment. And of course, we want to build in them mental resilience. We want them to build a sense of teamwork that they will work with one another. Stand by now. Three, four. You'll we'll move out two minutes after that. Yeah. Okay, there are a lot of flavors there for you. <laughs> you know that you're hungry. We have heart also as Gasman. We never let another Gasman die. So we need a nice snack too for you. Follow, follow me. Let's go. <laughs> Pushing or rolling. You can only pull. Gentlemen, as I say again, these are assets. You better protect the assets. I want a front scout, rear scout. Front security, rear security. They're given a very short time to accomplish a uh, six kilometer distance, and in that six kilometer, they have to drag a tire. All right, two tires, in fact. And along the way, we also um, introduce casualties for them. So, in that difficult sense, that um, the trainees have to rediscover really that a mission impossible, an almost impossible mission, can actually be done. 
only when they work together. Pulling two tyres seems simple enough until the first casualty is declared. Okay, I don't know how you're going to carry this to. Hello, you're waiting for what? Ice cream, is it? You need, you need what? Do you need skate, skate scooter or not? Huh? Arya, move, 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 move. The rule now changes. Come again. Oh, here Along the way, more and more casualties are declared, and the soldiers have not even crossed the first kilometer mark. The, the tough part came when two of our guys were declared casualties, and they were they were the heaviest uh, among. In, in, in our syndicate, and then we have to carry them. Then it's like we have like shortage of manpower, and we just keep dragging the wheels. And the, yeah, everyone is damn tired, but then we still keep to we have to keep pushing on. Uh. Hey, come on, Aria, Maria, what are you waiting for? Uh, where is the synergy? Where is the team dynamic? Never felt this shack before. We just keep on motivating each other, lah. We push, push on each other. Even though some of us carry three full packs, then all the rifles together. We push them and push them, and when they reach the finishing line, they actually discover that mission is always acceptable. It's going to always be achieved. Okay, there's no such thing as Mission Impossible. One thing that kept us pushing at the end point was when we reached the end point. Reaching the end point, then the fellow cosmates, they were there motivating us, cheering for us. It's like everyone just keep going. Uh. You cannot, you cannot just say you cannot do it already, and then just stop there. We will finish it together. Yeah. Hey, Patrick, Patrick, bring the bell, bring the bell. Okay. 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 Okay.